Hey everybody, Tom Scarella. Today we're going to talk about dominion and authority. Coming right up. Hey everybody, I uh, just want to talk to you for a few minutes here as I'm ministering here in Portland, Oregon. And so it's been a great time, great ministry, powerful meetings, uh, people received prophetic words, uh, people had dreams interpreted, people had all kinds of different things. But today I want to just talk to you for a minute about the subject of dominion and authority. And so many people don't realize uh, the very first thing God ever gave to Adam was authority. So in the Old Testament, <clears throat> the very first thing that God spoke to Adam about was about dominion over the fish of the sea, the fowl of the air, and over every living thing that's out there, right? So that was the first thing God ever spoke to Adam. So God's initial thoughts and initial words were always dominion and authority. Then Jesus comes along in the book of Matthew, and the first thing that he does with his disciples is, what does he do? He talks to them about dominion or authority. The very, very first thing that he ever spoke to him about. He didn't talk to him about heaven. He didn't talk to him about flying away. He talked to them about having dominion where they were. And guess what? God's first words to you are about dominion and authority. Now, it's not dominion and authority earned, but it's a dominion and authority uh, that is received by faith through uh, the new birth through the baptism of the Holy Spirit. So those things, what do we know of those things? That the baptism of the Holy Spirit, people being filled with the Holy Spirit, speaking in tongues, all of that different stuff is uh, an exercise or is a demonstration of part of our dominion. <clears throat> Divine healing, healing the sick. Like this last week, we had some people that were lame walk. We had some people that were uh, needed some uh, healing of all kinds of different things. They ended up getting healed. And uh, in every single week, wherever we go, we usually see those kinds of things where we'll see the, the blind see, where we'll see the lame walk, where we'll see people that are dying or sick. We'll see them come to the meetings and we'll just see them weep for joy as the Lord touches and heals them. So I want to encourage you today with this word is that you've been given dominion. You've been given authority uh, by Jesus Christ. It's a gift. It's not an earned thing. It's not because you're good, but it's because he's good. And once you have that revelation, you begin to start to say, hey, listen, the first thing God spoke to Ab Adam was about his authority. The first thing Jesus spoke to his disciples about was their authority. So God is speaking to you today to encourage you about dominion. You have dominion. You have authority in your life over demons, over sickness, over disease, over death, uh, over all those different things and works of the enemy. That's why the scripture says, uh, for this reason, the son of God was made manifest to, and, 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 and so, uh, I, I just want to encourage you with that word today. We love you. Don't forget, click the subscribe button right below me. Uh, give us a thumbs up, uh, share it with some of your friends. I pray it blesses you. Uh, check out our website, sharethefire.org. We've got some messages there that are free. I know that'll bless you. Love you guys.